This is the X-Tool Air Assist, it was sent to me to review. It comes with a manual, hose, fittings, and tools. Includes a new shield with a hole here and a nozzle. And here's the pump. This is the outlet right here. And it's got these like silicone feet on the bottom to help with vibration and noise. Now I have the 20 watt D1 Pro laser. So I don't need any of these accessories that were included with the air assist because this laser is already set up to accept the air assist. It has the tube bracket up here and the nozzle already installed. So the only thing we really need is this tube right here to connect to the outlet and this connector right here that the tubing will connect to. So we can take the tubing and this is just a push connector. So you just push it in as far as it'll go and then take the other end, put it through this hole up here, remove the silicone cap and push the tubing into the quick connector on the nozzle. So that's pretty much it for installing the air assist. I've got the pump sitting outside of my enclosure here. All I need to do is plug it in and there's an inline switch to turn it on and off. So there's no way to control the air assist from within Lightburn or any software for that matter. It's just gonna have to be a manual thing. You have to remember to turn on and off uh, when you use your laser. So I'd say that's like the only drawback but the air assist is really useful for cutting thick materials because it's gonna blow out all of the soot and debris uh, while the laser's cutting. And when you're engraving, it's really helpful because it gets rid of a lot of the uh, char marks and soot marks on the surface of the material. All right, so that's my review of the air assist by X-Tool.